this monument was built. And some people drive by this monument and they take it for, uh, for granted. But you learn a lot about your history, about where people stood and where they stand to this day. And when you see this, it was by women. Think about that. In 1895, women didn't even have the right to vote at that time. But women were standing up, building monuments to their sons and family members that fought for America's freedom in the Civil War. And also women helped found the Mount Vernon Daycare Center, which was the first real um, nonprofit doing charitable work outside of New York City. So there's some real deep history here, but when you look closely at it, you come around and you look up, you see that this is probably one of the original Gold Star Mother Monuments in the country. And it's about fighting for the preservation of America's Union. The North versus the South. And this monument reminds me of what Mount Vernon is all about. We got to pull together to win this uncivil war for Mount Vernon's future. And there's some really interesting things about our past where there are some people in the Hall of Fame at Mount Vernon High School. A lady by the name of Linda Fairston. Look, there's a lot of truths coming out from that dark past of people being falsely accused. Some of y'all know it as uh, the Central Park Five, but with facts and time, people get to see that the truth is the truth. And those Central Park Five guys that, you know, had their lives literally ruined because of someone that happened to be from Mount Vernon, who is declared to be famous, I think she's infamous. She's infamous. And I've already made outreach to the city school district to remove her from the Mount Vernon Hall of Fame in the school district. And just know that as we seek to build up and build upon our strong history, there are some parts of our past that we have to make sure we acknowledge, we deal with, and whatever reconciliation has to happen, has to happen. So this right here was one of the first questions we asked when people were asking about Confederate statues across the country. And I was like, I'm so glad we were on the right side of history. Now it's time for the school district to do the same, take a plaque down, and know that Mount Vernon doesn't stand for anything other than truth, fact, freedom. Freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, and freedom from all people.